Historically, I have had an issue with a porn addiction. Of course, it didn't start out as an addiction. I started watching a few clips here and there, but gradually I found myself needing to watch more and more adult content to seep at night, get through a difficult day, or even as a reward after work. At least that's what I told myself. I quit watching porn for two main reasons. Welcome to your life-changing adventure of male self-improvement. Our mission is to help you develop into the best version of yourself. We will inspire you to overcome daily obstacles and coach you through the process of becoming a high-value man. Watching our videos will enhance the quality of your life. Listen up, gentlemen. The information that follows may alter your life. Reason number one. The first was that adult content filled my private dreams with so much rage and brutality. And these were feelings of anger and fury that had not previously existed. I didn't desire it for myself anymore. This was not for me, and I decided to call it quits. It's much easier said than done, which is why I will reveal that secret near the end of this video. Reason number two. I realized that only by watching porn do I contribute to the need for filmed prostitution, because that is exactly what porn is. Nobody's childhood dream is to become a prostitute, it is always the outcome of struggle and distress. Both men and women in the industry are often victims of human trafficking, serving in brothels, under bridges, and on street corners. But you don't have to know all of that to understand how the porn and prostitution industry operates. It's all about male power over women and female subordination. Not simply as a sexual practice, but also as a way of being in this world. Even the mildest porn includes no hands 90% of the time. The cameras don't record gentle caressing, embracing, or kissing. The view captures of a man and a woman with close-up shots of penetration, while he keeps his hands behind his back to avoid blocking the camera. The woman must deal with this awkward position being careful not to ruin her hair or makeup because that is an investment in time and money. These forceful gestures must happen without getting in the way of the cameras. Before I watched porn, my secret fantasies always had a storyline about sensuality and closeness. I wondered what to say to her. How would she respond? How should I reply? The plot was important. The build-up, the place, the scene, where will it be? This always got me excited and kept me interested. Why were we suddenly alone? How would this physical tension between us evolve? Before porn, these stories were essential. When you engage in porn, it becomes a habit that consumes your mind. I was stuck and out of ideas. I tried to masturbate by closing my eyes and thinking wildly about being with a woman that my head was filled with pictures of tortured and chained women being dominated by their partners. Porn infects everyone, not just teens. We notice everything we see and hear. Both the good and bad become a part of our mind and body. This is why we must be extremely cautious about what we take in. My girlfriend was watching an audition for a karaoke show the other night. I was bored after 20 minutes and went to take a shower, and this is when the strangest thing happened. I was in the most pathetic situation I had ever been in. It took seven minutes to realize I was thinking about audition songs in the shower. Rihanna and Gatma songs were out, but I might audition with an M and a more Drake song. Then I realized I was being stupid since I don't even like karaoke or singing. I've never wanted to be a singer, musician, or songwriter. I'd only watched the karaoke show for 20 minutes, but it was so easy for it to invade my mind and mess up my thoughts. Using this example, we can determine how 20 minutes of watching something influences our minds, wants, and needs. Imagine seeing 20 minutes of uncensored porn once or twice a week. We have porn available 24-7 on our tabs, computers, and phones. It's all at our fingertips, which is very unhealthy. 93% of 12-year-olds view porn regularly since the internet is everywhere. This is how porn becomes addictive. This is especially harmful to young boys and men because porn teaches us that the only thing that matters in sex is having a big penis and an erection that never ends. Being a porn star is not a glamorous job, and when you sit alone in your room and watch porn, there is no need to pay, it is completely free. If you're still consuming, I hope you're aware of this. Whatever you are watching is creating a desire, and there will always be supply where there is a demand. You become part of the association. Someone will go out and pimp black older ladies if you view pornography of black older women. Have you watched content with minorities of Asian origin? Someone is already trafficking Asian youngsters for the purpose of filming them. The worst people on earth are already out there on camera trying to get these women to work for them. So I stopped watching porn for my own good. Now I'm getting back in charge of my thoughts and being responsible for them. But by doing that, I stopped giving attention and power to the awful sex industry. I think that's a good thing to spread the idea that sex can be both physically and emotionally safe. It doesn't mean going back to a conservative or less free way of thinking. Yes, sexual freedom is very important and means that we need to stop putting men and women in different roles. Let's just say that laughing is a key way to get close. Can two people or two souls by themselves laugh together? 
Whether they've known each other for 10 years or an hour, what could evolve in a room where two people are alone and can laugh together, both in a sexual way and not? That's sex that is emotionally safe. I just wanted to ask that we talk about these things more because I think that our history of silence has failed us as men. Silence only leads to more silence, but talking usually leads to more talking, sharing, identification, awareness, and change. Because of a small change, we live a simple, humble life, but a real change that makes them emotionally safer. Thanks for watching. Remember, gentlemen, to stand out, you must break free from the pack and blaze your own trail. Stay strong.